This puzzle, which was part of an Oxford University admissions interview, invites us to engage in logic and reasoning. At a party which was held for Mira and Ethan, two perfectly logical mathematician friends, a surprise is hidden under one of several colored tiles. Now, Mira was told about the shape of the tile hiding the surprise, and Ethan only knows that Mira is being told about the shape privately. Similarly, Ethan knows the color of the tile, and Mira only knows that Ethan is being told about the color privately. No other clues are provided. Now the host asks, Do either of you know where the surprise is? And there is a complete silence. The host again asks, Do you know now? And again, there is a complete silence. Now when the host asks, Do you know now? Both Mira and Ethan exclaim together, Yes, we know. So can you figure out where the surprise is? The puzzle's solution depends on deductive reasoning. Mira was privately told about the shape of the tile. If she was told that the shape is a triangle, then there are two possibilities. Green and blue triangles. Now, if she was told that the shape is a circle, then there are again two possibilities. Green and yellow circles. And if she was told that the shape is a square, then there is only one possibility, this blue square. Similarly, Ethan was privately told about the color of the tile. If he was told that the color is green, then there are two possibilities, triangle or a circle. Now, if he was told that the color is blue, then there are again two possibilities, triangle or a square. And if he was told that the color is yellow, then there is only one possibility, this yellow circle. Now when the host asks for the first time, what does the silence tell us? If Mira knows the shape is a square, she immediately knows the answer, because there's only one square, the blue square. Since she remained silent, we can eliminate the blue square from the list of possibilities. Similarly, if Ethan knows the color is yellow, there is only one possibility the yellow circle. But since he stayed silent, we can also eliminate the yellow circle. Also, as both of them are perfect logicians, so Mira knows that since Ethan was also silent the first time, he was not told yellow as he would have answered it. So, this yellow circle is also eliminated. Same goes for Ethan. He knows that since Mira was also silent the first time, she was not told square as she would have answered it too. So this blue square is also eliminated. Now we go to the second stage of reasoning. When again asked by the host if they knew the answer, they were both silent. So we can repeat this type of deductive reasoning. If Mira had been told that the tile is a circle, then she would have answered it in the second round with the only option being the green circle. She was again silent. This eliminates the green circle. Same goes for Ethan. If he had been told that the tile is blue, then he would have answered it in the second round with the only option being the blue square. As he was also silent, so this eliminates the blue square as well. Now we go to the final stage of reasoning, where they both say yes, because Mira now would have realized that Ethan must have been told green as the color of the tile. And Ethan realizes that Mira must have been told triangle as the shape of the tile. Putting that together, they both realize that it must be a green triangle, and therefore both of them exclaim, Yes, together. Isn't it cool? So good! Special thanks to Joel David Hamkins, Oxford's Professor of Logic, for crafting this thought-provoking challenge.